This is the Walter WSR160. It's a pinwheel calculator made from 1956 until about 1968. It's made by Walter and they are best known for making pistols. A Walter PPK that James Bond uses is one of theirs. The company was founded by Carl Walter in 1886. At first he made hunting rifles and sold them in his gun shop, a very small company. But that soon grew. In 1903 they started making pistols. And yeah, in 1924 or so they began making calculators as well. Uh, mostly pinwheel machines. And uh, yeah, after the Second World War, when uh, the whole factory was uh, destroyed, he restarted, uh, or his son, Fritz Walter, he restarted the company in uh, West Germany, and that's when they started making uh, uh, this model. And um, yeah, it's a, a fairly standard uh, pinwheel machine with back transfer, but it has a lot of nice uh, usable touches. Uh, for example, all the controls are on the right hand side, so you can uh, control it with one hand. Um, yeah, it's a fairly standard machine. You can uh, shift the carriage with the output register and the, the counter. You can shift that carriage uh, with these buttons to the left or right. Or you can push this one to shift it all the way to the left. And uh, yeah, here you can uh, input a number. You can see the number you've input at the top. Uh, turning the crank adds that number to the main register and increments the counter. If I shift the carriage, it now will add at the tens position. And in this way I've added uh, this number four times in the units position and three times in the tens position, and thereby multiplying this by 34. And the result is here. To clear the result, you pull this red lever. Uh, there is also a built-in uh, shifting mechanism. I have that switched off, I think. Let me try that again. Yeah, no, that works. It, when you clear the register, it shifts automatically back to the unit's position, so you can start the next calculation properly. If you uh, shift this uh, little uh, knob, then it won't do that. So if I do it now, Nothing happens, but if I shift this to the back, it moves to the left. Uh, when you clear the register, the, uh, this switch goes to the middle. This switch determines whether the counter will count up or down, whether it counts additions or subtractions. If the first turn you make is an addition, it shifts to the plus side, so this counts additions. And if you then subtract, it counts down. It reverses the previous addition. If I, uh, yeah, if, if, I, if I clear the register, and this is in the middle, then I can put an uh, input a number manually in the register and uh, do a division. To divide, I'll uh, shift uh, this number to the left. I mean, I'll shift the carriage to the right, so I'm starting at the left end of the number. And then uh, I can subtract. Uh, clearly, I've subtracted too much because the register has underflowed and a bell rang. So uh, I can add again and move to the next digit. 
Oop. And uh, then oop, you move to the next one. And as you can see, even though I'm subtracting, the counter goes upwards because as soon as the fir first time I turn the crank to do a subtraction, this uh, lever moves to the minus, so it's, this starts uh, counting subtractions only. Okay, so now the, uh, the carriage is all the way to the left. The result of the division is 571 and the remainder is 2216. Uh, note that there's also a slightly different way of doing this. Let me start again. I can uh, let me do, do it a bit, a bit larger number. I can start uh, from the left end of the number doing the division. Oh, of course, first I have to reset the uh, the counter, uh, but without resetting the main register. Previously, when I pulled this lever, both these registers were uh, cleared, but you can select to only clear the counter by shifting this small knob to the left. Yeah, it does shift automatically to the start. So, here we go. Now I've cleared the counter and I can do the division of this number properly. So, I'll subtract. There we go. As before, it underflowed, but I don't have to immediately add it again. I can also shift to the next digit and now start adding. And then shift to the next digit and start subtracting. Shift to the next digit and start adding. And that's a slightly quicker way to do uh, division by alternating addition and adding, so you only, uh, yeah, so you only go to, uh, so you don't have to undo the last uh, addition or the last subtraction each time. To clear the input, there are levers up here. You can pull the white lever to clear the input. This red lever is for uh, the back transfer. If there's a number in the uh, if there's a number in the uh, uh, output register, you can transfer this to the input by pulling this red lever. That also clears the input first, and now I have to pull this one to transfer this number to the input. There we go. So now the number is, is up here. And I can use that as the input for the next uh, calculation. If you accidentally pull the red lever instead of the white lever, if you only wanted to clear the input but not do a, a transfer, then you can uh, release this by pressing this small uh, white button up here. Uh, yeah, there's another uh, way of uh, uh, undoing a selection you've made. If you've selected to clear the, the only the counter and you've done that accidentally, you can release this by pulling this slight, this small metal tab here. So, uh, yeah, with this you select whether you want to clear the counter, the main register, or both. Standard is both, and if you shift it to one side, you only shift the counter on that side. Yeah, and that's pretty much all there is uh, on how to use this machine. Let me just show you around. On the back, there's a, uh, a label it says Walter Bureau Maschinen GmbH. By this time, uh, post-war, they've split off the uh, the uh, 
calculator business from the arms business, so this is now a separate company. It says the model WSR160 and the serial number 194935. And that's a very late number. They uh, only went to about 206,000, so this was probably made in 1967 or even the last year, 1968. On the uh, on the bottom, let me just tilt this up. There is a small uh, metal tab, and you can uh, pull that because that's the latch that keeps the uh, the carriage in place. You, if you pull that, you can remove the carriage and uh, oil it or clean it. So that's the uh, Volta. WSR 160. Thank you for watching.